The soil seed bank is the natural storage of seeds, often dormant, within the soil of most ecosystems. The study of soil seed banks started in 1859 when Charles Darwin observed the emergence of seedlings using soil samples from the bottom of a lake. The first scientific paper on the subject was published in 1882 and reported on the occurrence of seeds at different soil depths. Weed seed banks have been studied intensely in agricultural science because of their important economic impacts. Other fields interested in soil seed banks include forest regeneration and restoration ecology. Background Many taxa have been classified according to the longevity of the seeds in the soil seed bank. Seeds of transient species remain viable in the soil seed bank only to the next opportunity to germinate, while seeds of persistent species can survive longer than the next opportunity, are often much longer than one year. Species with seeds that remain viable in the soil longer than five years form the long-term persistent seed bank, while species whose seeds generally germinate or die within one to five years are called short-term persistent. A typical long-term persistent species is Chenopodium album. Its seeds commonly remain viable in the soil for up to 40 years and in rare situations, perhaps as long as 1,600 years. A species forming no soil seed bank at all is Agrostemma give agard, which is a formerly widespread cereal weed. Seed longevity Longevity of seeds is very variable and depends on many factors. Few species exceed 100 years. In typical soils the longevity of seeds can range from nearly zero to several hundred years. Some of the oldest still viable seeds were those of lotus found buried in the soil of a pond. These seeds were estimated by carbon dating to be around 1,200 years old. One of the longest-running soil seed viability trials was started in Michigan in 1879 by James Beale. The experiment involved the burying of 20 bottles holding 50 seeds from 21 species. Every five years, a bottle from every species was retrieved and germinated on a tray of sterilized soil which was kept in a growth chamber. Later, after responsibility for managing the experiment, experiment was delegated to caretakers, the time frame between each retrieval became longer. In 1980, more than 100 years after the trial was started, seeds of only three species were observed to germinate, moth mullen, common mullen and common mallow. Environmental significance. Soil seed banks play an important role in the natural environment of many ecosystems. For example, the rapid revegetation of sites disturbed by wildfire, catastrophic weather, agricultural operations, and timber harvesting is largely due to the soil seed bank. Forest ecosystems and wetlands contain a number of specialized plant species forming persistent soil soil seed banks. Before the advent of herbicides a good example of a persistent seed bank species, Parpava res sometimes was so abundant in agricultural fields in Europe that it could be mistaken for a crop. The absence of a soil seed bank impedes the establishment of vegetation during primary succession, while presence of a well-stocked soil seed bank permits rapid development of species-rich ecosystems during secondary succession, population densities and diversity. The mortality of seeds in the soil is one of the key factors for the persistence and density fluctuations of plant populations, especially for annual plants. Studies on the genetic structure of Androsis septetrionalis populations in the seed bank compared to those of established plants showed that 
diversity within populations is higher below ground than above ground. There are indications that mutations are more important for species forming a persistent seed bank compared to those with only transient seeds. The increase of species richness in a plant community due to a species-rich and abundant soil seed bank is known as the storage effect. Species of Striga are known to leave some of the highest seed densities in the soil compared to other plant genera. This is a major factor that aids their invasive potential. Each plant has the capability to produce between 90,000 and 450,000 seeds. Although a majority of these seeds are not viable, it has been estimated that only two witch weeds would produce enough seeds required to refill a seed bank after seasonal losses. Associated Ecosystem Processes The term soil diaspora bank can be used to include non-flowering plants such as ferns and bryophytes. In addition to seeds, perennial plants have vegetative proper gills to facilitate forming new plants, migration into new ground, or re-establishment after being top-kill. These proper gills are collectively called the soil bud bank and include dormant and adventitious buds on stolons, rhizomes, and bulbs. 